Welcome to YQ Academy Spring Interview Questions and Answers. 1. What are the major features in different versions of Spring Framework? Spring 2.5. This version was released in 2007. It was the first version which supported annotations. Spring 3.0. This version was released in 2009. It made full-fledged use of improvements in JAVIA 5 and also provided support to JE6. Spring 4.0. This version was released in 2013. This was the first version to provide full support to Java 8. 2. What is a Spring Framework? Spring is a powerful open source application framework created to reduce the complexity of enterprise application development. It is lightweighted and loosely coupled. It has layered architecture, which allows you to select the components to use, while also providing a cohesive framework for J2E application development. Spring Framework is also called the Framework of Frameworks as it provides support to various other frameworks such as Strits, Hibernate, Tapestry, DJB, JSF, etc. 3. List the advantages of Spring Framework. Because of Spring Framework's layered architecture, you can use what you need and leave which you don't. Spring Framework enables Pojo plain old Java object programming, which in turn enables continuous integration and testability. JDBC is simplified due to dependency injection and inversion of control. It is open source and has no vendor lock in. 4. What are the different features of Spring Framework? 1. Lightweight. Spring is lightweight when it comes to size and transparency. 2. Inversion of control IOC. The objects give their dependencies instead of creating or looking for dependent objects. This is called inversion of control. 3. Aspect-oriented programming AOP. Aspect-oriented programming in Spring supports cohesive development by separating application business logic from system services. 4. Container. Spring Framework creates and manages the life cycle and configuration of the application objects. 5. MVC Framework. Spring Framework's MVC Web Application Framework is highly configurable. Other frameworks can also be used easily instead of Spring MVC Framework. 6. Transaction Management. Generic abstraction layer for transaction management is provided by the Spring Framework. Spring's transaction support can be also used in containerless environments. 7. JDBC Exception Handling. The JDBC abstraction layer of the Spring offers an exception hierarchy, which simplifies the error handling strategy. 5. How many modules are there in Spring Framework and what are they? There are around 20 modules which are generalized into core container, data access slash integration, web, AOP aspect-oriented programming, instrumentation, and test. 1. Spring Core Container. This layer is basically the core of Spring Framework. It contains the following modules. Spring Core, Spring Bean, Spell Spring Expression Language, Spring Can Text. 2. Data Access Slash Integration. This layer provides support to interact with the database. It contains the following modules. JDBC Java Database Connectivity, ORM Object Relational Mapping, OXM Object XML Mappers, JMS Java Messaging Service, Transaction. 3. Web. This layer provides support to create web application. It contains the following modules. Web, Web, MVC, Web, Socket, Web, Portlet. 4. Aspect-Oriented Programming AOP. In this layer, you can use advices, point kits, etc. to decouple the code. 5. Instrumentation. This layer provides support to class instrumentation and class loader implementations. 6. Test. This layer provides support to testing with JUnit and testing. Few miscellaneous modules are given below. 7. Messaging. This module provides support for STOM. It also supports an annotation programming model that is used for routing and processing stomp messages from WebSocket clients. 8. Aspects. This module provides support to integration with the SPECD. 6. What is a Spring Configuration File? A Spring Configuration File is an XML file. 
This file mainly contains the classes information. It describes how those classes are configured as well as introduced to each other. The XML configuration files, however, are verbose and more clean. If it's not planned and written correctly, it becomes very difficult to manage in big projects. 7. What are the different components of a Spring application? A Spring application generally consists of following components. Interface, it defines the functions. Bean class, it contains properties, its setter and getter methods, functions, etc. Spring Aspect Oriented Programming AOP provides the functionality of cross getting concerns. Bean Configuration File contains the information of classes and how to configure them. User Program it uses the function. 8. What are the various ways of using Spring Framework? 1. As a full fledged Spring Web application. 2. As a third party web framework using Spring Framework's middle tier. 3. For remote usage. 4. As enterprise Java Bean, which can wrap existing POJO's plain old Java objects. 9. What is Spring IOC container? At the core of the Spring framework lies the Spring container. The container creates the object, wires them together, configures them, and manages their complete life cycle. The Spring container makes use of dependency injection to manage the components that make up an application. The container receives instructions for which objects to instantiate, configure, and assemble by reading the configuration metadata provided. This metadata can be provided either by XML, Java annotations, or Java code. 10. What do you mean by dependency injection? In dependency injection, you do not have to create your objects but have to describe how they should be created. You don't connect your components and services together in the code directly, but describe which services are needed by which components in the configuration file. The IOT container will wire them up together. 11. In how many ways can dependency injection be done? In general, dependency injection can be done in three ways, namely, constructor injection, setter injection, interface injection. In Spring Framework, only constructor and setter injections are used. 12. Differentiate between constructor injection and setter injection. Constructor injection vs. setter injection. There is no partial injection. There can be partial injection. It doesn't override the setter property. It overrides the constructor property. It will create a new instance if any modification is done. It will not create new instance if any modification is done. It works better for many properties. It works better for few properties. 13. How many types of IOC containers are there in Spring? A. The Ant Factory. The Ant Factory is like a factory class that contains a collection of beans. It instantiates the bean when never asked for by clients. B. Application Context. The Application Context interface is built on top of the BN Factory interface. It provides some extra functionality on top BN Factory. 14. Differentiate between BN Factory and Application Context. It is an interface defined in org. Spring Framework. Themes. VN Factory, it is an interface defined in org. Spring Framework. Context. Application Context. It uses lazy initialization. It uses eager slash aggressive initialization. It explicitly provides a resource object using the syntax. It creates and manages resource objects on its own. It doesn't support internationalization. It supports internationalization. It doesn't support annotation-based dependency. It supports annotation-based dependency. This is the end of our SQL interview questions. We hope you enjoyed learning with YQ Academy. Until next time, goodbye.